house at Deception Bay and you can see that the, the spot has established their colony inside this um, brick cavity wall. Um, there's two entrance points just below the aluminium on the window and one entrance point below. Um, the hive is probably fairly big. They're having a bit of backing up a bit um, to the entrance points which means there's quite a lot of bees inside that wall. Going. Here we are inside um, and that's those weep holes um, that I identified from the outside um, and what we're doing is having a look and having a feel where the heat is along the wall and marking. So I've marked where the heat is and I'm just going to join join that up so that when we come back we can one have a look at how they've grown but two we know where to cut the wall out obviously they generally go under well they go wherever they want but the ones that I've done they tend to go under the window which is always a good spot to start so we're just um, about to cut the wall for the cavity hive we came and uh, filled up the gaps outside last night so that they would all be in the wall that was we did not get all the gaps and they've actually pulled some of the um, pulled some of the what is that stuff uh, steel, wool. steel wool out of the gaps to get out and they went foraging and now they're back so um, Oh, they're packing the honey away. Oh, it's going to be a messy one. Really packing them, isn't it? Yep. Oh, yeah, this thing is jammed up. Oh, there's bare boxes everywhere. We've got lots of buckets. We've got two bee vacs. We've got two boxes of frames in case we need that much. Five straight into the bees. Is that enough suck, Clive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Oh, they're making beautiful honey. <laughs> they are actually, they've packed some nice comb in there. Yeah. I think these guys have been there for more than a few weeks. I'd say so, but look at that. Yeah. This is still in there, I Oh, no, the. What? Oh, the old window thing? Yeah. We've um, spoken to the owner, we've got agreement that he's going to put the wall back together. Uh, we could do it, but he's keen to do it himself. And we've explained the mess and got agreement from him as well that if there is any sticky business, um, that he's happy to clean it up. So it's important to get those agreements. Brood pattern. That looks like a healthy brood pattern too. Right down to the bottom, eh? Down to the bottom, right down, way down the bottom. Oh dear. Alright, um, I'll have to get the queen catcher too. Yeah. It's a bit early for that, but you never know where she's going to be, do you? Oh, that is a really snug fit. What does stud two reveal? Oh, they're just starting there, nice. Oh, that'll be that wet patch on the wall where the cones drop down. Yep. On the outside of the wall. Okay. 
Okay. God, they've, they've just, look, they've got pollen in the center, brood honey in the top. The typical wari hive. Oh, that's attached to the plaster. Yep. That oh, wax, I mean. Yeah. It's been a traumatic day for these guys. So the cavity wall, we didn't find the queen. Um, the cavities, we filled up 12 cavities with steel wool, um, but they chewed, well, they sort of ripped off one of them. So when we arrived, they were all foraging outside waiting to get in. Um, they were just pretty much little cavities every, I don't know, half a meter around the house. So they could just get in anywhere. Um, so we think the queen went up into the um, wall beside where the window was and what that meant was um, we couldn't get her behind a bracing sheet. I mean we, that might not be the case but we don't think we've got the queen. Um, the brood looks like it might have heated up a bit um, so I'm not sure if that's been damaged. Um, they seem to be staying with the box um, at their new home, which is more than 5k away. So they can't sort of go, they've either got to abscond or choose to make this work. But it's not ideal for everyone involved. It was a lot of work today. We had to B-vac them up from the inside, then we had to go outside, B-vac them up, and then come back inside, B-vac them up. And then tonight I've got to go back with the B-vac to get the extras that were out foraging and everything so it was just absolute nightmare to be honest um yeah gavin's bvac design worked a treat um lots and lots of lessons learned today but we'll see if they abscond um yeah that time will tell a few days we'll make at night just quickly in this cavity wall to get the ones that snuck through our wall uh holes in the wall and I've never seen this before. All of the drone bees from the that were left in the wall that snuck sort of up into the corner um, are all sort of rolling around, dying on the ground. And all the worker bees, and probably the queen, because she probably eluded me, are up where the beginning of the brood was. But every single one of these guys a drone and it is warm in this room but I wouldn't say it's more than what they're used to. Yeah super super interesting. Here's the cavity wall hive. It's been out in Debra for two or a week, two weeks and um, yeah it was a pretty rough cavity. We're pretty sure we didn't get the queen and um, we weren't sure if they were going to make it. We thought oh they'll probably abscond and not stay in the hive. They did have one day old but it was really hot getting them out here and when we'd gotten them out here um, a lot of the, when I was transferring the brood like a lot of the sort of um, week old egg had fallen out of the, had overheated and fallen out of the cells so we weren't really hopeful that they were going to make it but we just sighted the queen, brand new queen and there's still two cells in there if they do, if they don't like that one um, so yeah they've made it and they there's a lot of bees you can see the bands as they haven't built the wax up and attached the bands but yeah ray you, your bees are looking happy as <laughs>